What kind of end is death if we think of it as a possibility of Dasein? It is not a lack that completes me when I have come to an end, since as a possibility it is already part of my life. It is not an end like an end of a road, or an outstanding debt that is paid off, or the phases of the moon. These ends are all ends of a series which completes a process. No doubt I can think of my end in this way, but then I am viewing my end externally as though from a third person perspective, rather than as a possibility which is there from the beginning and already part of my life. As soon as Dasein is born, Heidegger writes, it is already dying. Perhaps my end as a possibility, Hadga adds, is more like the ripening of a fruit than the end of a road, since ripening is part of the fruit from the very beginning, and so to speak, completes it. Yet there is a difference between the ripening of the fruit and my end, for the end of the fruit is a completion of what it is meant to be. But it is perfectly possible for me to come to an end without fulfilling my purpose, and indeed to end ruined, unfulfilled and broken. Even in the case of a ripening fruit, Heidegger says, we are speaking about Dasein ontologically in an inappropriate way, as though it were like a thing, either present to hand or ready to hand. We have to, to distinguish, Heidegger says, between something being at an end and being towards an end, Sein zum Ende. So far in this investigation, we have only been talking about Dasein's death negatively, what it is not like rather than what it is. In the next video essay, we shall have to see how Heidegger describes being towards death positively. What does it really mean for us to relate to our deaths as a possibility during our lives? And why is our relating to our own deaths so important for Heidegger for being authentic? Why is it only in my death that I can really choose who I am?